We're going to be working around fuel here, so we want to take some basic safety precautions. Always work in a well-ventilated area free of any source of ignition. That means hot incandescent shop lights and hot water heaters. If you smoke, now's a really good time to quit, at least while you're performing this work. As always, whenever you're working on your vehicle, you should be wearing safety glasses, and now's a good time to get yourself some chemical resistant gloves. But most importantly, have a properly rated and fully charged fire extinguisher handy and know how to use it. You're going to need to remove the rear seat cushions for additional assistance with that task. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Then under the rear seat on the left side, Cut the perforations in the sound insulating material, green arrow. Peel back the sound insulating material. Pull out the rubber insulating grommet, remove it from its mount, and move it out of the way. Remove the three Phillips head fasteners, green arrows, that hold the inspection plate to the body of the car. Lift the inspection panel, green arrow, out of the way to expose the top of the fuel level sender. On the top of the fuel level sender, squeeze the locking tabs on the electrical connector and unplug it by pulling it in the direction of the blue arrow. Loosen the clamp that holds the return line to the fuel level sender assembly. I use a pick to spread apart the band clamp and then simply cut it off with cutting pliers and replace it with an adjustable hose clamp. Remove the fuel line return hose. You can use a pair of pliers and twist back and forth on the fuel line hose while moving the pliers in the direction of the blue arrow. Use a brass hammer and dull chisel to tap the sending unit mounting ring by tapping it in a counterclockwise direction. As always, make sure you're wearing eye protection. Spin the mounting ring until it is completely loose and remove it from the top of the sending unit. Use a flathead screwdriver or pick to lever out the sending unit from the opening in the fuel tank. Lift the assembly out of the access hole through the body of the car. Pull the assembly completely out of the fuel tank. The fuel transfer lines will still be connected. Squeeze the two locking tabs, green arrows, on the fuel transfer lines and unplug the unit by pulling it in the direction of the blue arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. Next, cut the perforation on the right side of the fuel tank under the rear seat. Peel up on the sound insulating material to loosen it. Remove the rubber grommet from the inspection cover and move both pieces out of the way. Remove the three Phillips head screws, green arrows, that mount the inspection cover to the body of the car and move it out of the way. Unplug the fuel pump electrical connector, green arrow, by sliding the lock in the direction of the blue arrow, then lifting up on the connector. Loosen the band clamp for the fuel line supply hose from the fuel pump and the sending unit assembly. Use a pick and rock it back and forth till it's loose and then you can cut it. Replace this clamp with a regular hose clamp. Use pliers to twist back and forth on the fuel line hose while moving in the direction of the blue arrow. Use a brass hammer and a dull chisel to tap off the mounting ring by tapping in a counterclockwise direction. Use a flathead screwdriver or pick to lever up on the fuel pump sending unit assembly. Lift the sending portion unit out of the fuel tank. Reach down inside the tank opening to unplug the two electrical connectors, yellow arrows, from the terminals on the fuel pump. Reach down inside the tank and squeeze the two locking tabs on the black plastic fuel pump mounting bracket and pull up on the assembly. Remove the band clamp that holds the fuel pump hose onto the fuel pump and remove the whole assembly. Installation is the reverse of removal and expect the vehicle to run rough for a couple of seconds while air is purged from the system. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.